So for this week's mission, we're trying to catch coastal cutthroat trout. The Western Native Trout Initiative Challenge involves catching 18 species of trout and char across 12 states in the U.S. Every episode, we will try to catch a different species. Follow along as we attempt to complete the whole challenge with Tenkara rocks. You know, this one is kind of special for me personally because I actually grew up in Washington State where we're going to try and catch these coastal cutties. We actually, we actually drove through my hometown of Paulsbo to get to the Olympic Peninsula where we ended up fishing for these coastal cutties. Cutthroat are a pretty unique species because they can be either sea run or resident trout. So it's pretty interesting because some of them will swim out to the ocean and live and then come back in the rivers to spawn, while others will live their whole life in the river. They can be found kind of on the coast in the ocean, or they can be found in rivers or streams. Sometimes they're higher up in the system, sometimes they're lower. So it's honestly really tricky to find these fish. Good. It looks really good. It looks like a fun river to fish. Yeah. He gave me a few different spots, but he said, come to this river if we want like some good scenery and to get away from the crowd. A little I got these three up for review. Personally, I would go this or this. Oh, that's a Mohican. That's a home tie. This and, one is? Yeah, and that's my last is it one. The I was just gonna ask you. You can say it's the, the last, last of the Mohicans. <laughs> All right, dude. Teton Zoom, I've got like a 13 foot, or no, 10 and a half foot line on here. Probably like three feet of tippet. And then I'm gonna start by trying a small streamer. So we got a pink, a humpy. So that's good, dead salmon in here. That means there should be coastal cutties in here. Hopefully we can find them in here today. Well, tuna flew in and we had basically one, one and a half days to catch these coastal cutthroat trout, which was the first kind of major time constraint we had on this challenge so far. And it ended up being pretty stressful. He's right to the left of those top families. Which salmon? The one in front or back? Yeah, the one in front. <laughs> it's not the cutty we were looking for, but it's still a pretty fun fish to catch. Yeah. I mean, it fought pretty hard. It's it's fresher than a lot of the ones out here. Yeah. I thought it was a cutty sitting there, though. Look at that black mouth. Ooh. Because all the salmon we've seen are like those zombied out ones, so it looked like a cutty for sure. And the way he ate it, <laughs> with his fin. <laughs> he ate it with his fin. Not seeing any signs of fish. No cutties yet. Rainbow. It's a rainbow, dude. Find those things anywhere. We're looking for that coastal cutty. It's a rainbow. It's a good sign though, right? Think? I mean, there's trout in here then, at least. I was so excited. So, I know I heard you, I was way over there, and I heard you, and I threw my rod down and just sprinted it over. Hey, Bo. We don't have that much time, and we really want to get some coastal cutties. We spent a good half of the day fishing this one river, and we didn't catch any cutthroat. You know, it's like almost noon, and we're still down there. We knew we had to hike out. We knew we had another long drive ahead of us to get to the next spot, and we're just down. Yeah, man, like I said, you can't complain, but I'm gonna complain a little bit. I wanna catch a cutty. That's what we're here for. That's what we're here for. Time is running out. Like it's 11.30 right now, and we have about eight hours, maybe nine hours to get ourselves a coastal cutthroat trout, and. We're stressing. Yeah, we got like an hour hike out of here. Hour, yeah, hour hike out, maybe an hour to the next spot. Yeah. So, so we got to try and get it done. Dude. Here we go. Time to move. Yeah. So for all you Twilight fans out there, make sure to tune into this video. It's a good one. And you know who you are. You Twilight fans, you know who you are.
those spiders was in my face, dude. I felt that thing crawling on me. <laughs> and it's wet. They're not trying to escape and the forest swallowed me up. I feel it. I mean, it looks easier to fish. Like in terms of hit a hole, walk along the banks, yeah. to another spot, that looks good. I mean, first spot though, but the little rainbow. In the last spot. So now the pressure's on. We stop at this one little riffle. I put a small dry fly on because you know those cutties love those dry flies. And a little stimmy, one of Drew's favorites, and hook up with a small fish bring it in, net it, right away. I see orange fins. I think this has got to be it. Flip it over. It was a small little specimen. See those cut marks on the throat? We knew we had our first coastal cutthroat. No, sir. Come look. I mean, he's got cutty slashes. No other rainbows that we caught here. Today, at this creek or a different creek had yes. any kind of slash like that. Yes, dude. And see the pink or the yellow and oh, kind of yeah. orange fins right there. <laughs> hey, buddy. Upside down release. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> we did it, dude. We finally did it. You did it. Oh. I was not, I was just like, dude, another rainbow. Cause I just caught a rainbow right here. Yeah. Like, and then the next cast caught that. Did you switch to a dry? Yeah. Crushing. Yeah. Yeah, a little stimmy. Dude, Lars and I are standing over here fishing and we see this crazy looking like bug with these long legs. Never seen any kind of like aquatic insect like it before. Land on the water and it just like had its legs sitting on the water and its body was kind of up off the water. And we're like watching it, like something eat it, something eat it, and sure enough, something ate it right down there. Oh, really? Yeah. So then we just like been moving up and caught a few right here. Now I got one, so the pressure is on Drew. Cutty! 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 I mean, we're not catching like big coastal cutthroat by any means. What do you think? Put that one at five? <laughs> a solid five inches? A solid five. If we're doing there. centimeters, it's in the double digits. Yeah. Cutty. You got those, those, little orange, those little orange fins yeah. on them too. Pretty cool fish. Yeah. That's probably a resident, right? Probably. He doesn't look like he'd make it in the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Rambo? Rambo? Whoa! Good whoa. one! Whoa. Look at that! Whoa! Cutty? Well, let's see. We got some orange fins. Do we? No, we don't. Now we're getting down to about an hour of light left, maybe less. Let's just see what we got here. Oh, dude. How's it looking? Looking rainbowy. <sighs> uh oh, no. Look at those fish. Oh! <laughs> we did it! We did it! Yes! <laughs> He's little, but dude. Yeah, they're oh, not all tens, okay? They're not all. <laughs> The Look fun that. part about this trip we go. is yeah. we're out catching Little fish that some people might say are small. Show, show I like think most people would say are small. But your stoke level is so high because we knew we had limited time and we're running out of time. So once we caught those fish, we we're very excited. Woo wee! I was getting a little close. Yeah, it was. You know, I was ready to like just start pep talking Drew and like rubbing his shoulders like, hey man, you got this? Focus, remember your training. Never been so excited for a four to six inch trout before. <laughs> six is Say three, three, to, say <laughs> three to five. <laughs> three, to three to five. five. We put in at least 10 miles of hiking today. Yeah. By the time it's all over. Like the rainbows are fun. The rainbows were fatter. They fought harder. Probably a little bit bigger too. We did it. We came out here to the Olympic Peninsula to catch a coastal cutthroat and we, we got it done. We did it. Nice cutty! Dolly. Nice cutty! Now we can actually see like some characteristics on these fish. Look at the cheeks. This one has some cheeks. Oh dude! It's coming together in the evening. Nice.
nice little coastal cuddy. It was a pretty stressful trip as far as, you know, we had limited time. We were able to get it done pretty quickly on this trip. So the next day we were able to head over to a small Indian reservation, small town called La Push, and do a little bit of surfing and kind of just relax. And then we had, cold, you know, a little bit of a drive back to Seattle and a nice ferry ride back over to Seattle to catch our flight home that night. <laughs>